that looks clean. And in the back, nice distinct line. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to cross over to being a white guy or not. Or, wait, that sounds bad. A sport guy or not. Jesus, dude. That is strong. What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel, thank you again for tuning in and welcome to another mod. Today we're talking about the ambient lighting upgrade for F-Series BMW, this is a F80 M3. What I want to do in this video is talk about what it is, how to put it in, and also a comparison of how this compares to an OEM ambient lighting in the newer generation BMWs, and that's the key thing for this video. And as you can see, this is already installed, you see a nice distinct line here. So this is with the ambient strip already in. I can take it out, very simple, um, no tools required, but if I take this out, you'll see that what we have here is a distinct line. This is what's going on in the newer generation BMWs. It's also what is built in OEM from the factory in the BMW X1, which is a 2017. This is a 2016 F80 M3, but if you see, if I take this out, this piece of plastic no longer gives it that distinct line. It is much, much harder to distinguish. Um, it's a little bit more noticeable when the door is closed, but you it's it's diffused. So you can kind of see my hand when it's right under, but it's so diffused because it just kind of shines against the black leather or whatever leather that you have uh, in, your, in your car. Uh, you do see a little bit of a red glow uh, on the contrast of the door handle, but it's very diffused. So for F-Series, there is um, different vendors out there that make this plastic strip. It's very common. So that's what I really want to talk to you about today is I want to compare it without it, then with it, and then also compare it to a newer generation BMW where these are kind of like built into the trim and see if it really is uh, comparable or not. So let's get inside the car. All right, so we are very familiar with the inside of a BMW. Like I said, this is a F80 M3. You see that we have the subtle ambient lighting going around the radio, the dash, and then also around the door trim. And this is at its max setting. So this is as bright as it gets and um, it's, it's subtle. Um, it's picking up pretty good actually on camera, but like I said, it's very much a diffused look. Um, it just shines down against the leather, uh, the door handle, and some of your buttons. And as you know, you can go into the uh, dash there and you can make that white uh, or the classic uh, amber red. And you can see on the passenger side, you have a little bit of a diffused look. And then in the back as well, a little bit of a diffused look there. So what I want to do is I want to show how this is and then we're going to put it in. I'm going to show you how to put it in. It's very simple. No tools are required. And we're going to see if we get that distinctive line. And then what I want to do is I want to kind of compare it. Uh, I might even show the different color options as well. But I want to compare it then to a newer generation BMW. And by newer generation, I'm really only talking by one year, uh, 2017 BMW X1 and where it's built in, it's a little higher up. You can't see here, but it's a little higher up on this part, built into the trim and compare the distinctive line and uh, see if this mod is a, uh, a worthy mod or not. So I wanna show you what you get when you order these. Uh, you will get four pieces if you obviously have a four door. Um, and this is for, like I said, different F-Series BMWs to enhance the ambient lighting. There is not a passenger side or driver side, left or right. Um, that doesn't matter. However, there are two different sizes. Two are for the rear door, uh, they're a little shorter, and the longer ones are for the front. So let's look at the longer ones here, a little bit more close up. You'll see that it kind of looks like uh, three quarters of a rectangle almost. And I will get a little bit closer here so you can see. There is a slightly longer side right there. This longer side, this is what's gonna go in between the leather and the LED strip. So some people try to put that in front. You want that to be snug between the leather and the LED strip. So that's gonna go closest inside. And then this little flat side is what is just gonna kind of slightly hang down. And that is what's gonna illuminate, giving you a more distinct line. 
So we're gonna put that in now. All right, so I'm finding that flat side that is going to go in between the plastic and the leather. And once I get a corner in there, I'm then going to slide it back until where I feel like it can't go any further, which will allow me to know where the front is. So I can't go back any further. So now I'm just gonna kind of take it and I'm just wedging it. No tools required. Just taking that, make sure that flat part is snug against the leather. And that's all she wrote. That's pretty much it. <laughs> um, so one door down, we're gonna, I guess I'll work my way around the car. I'll go in the uh, rear door. I'll put that one in and um, let's do the Comparo. All right, now that we're working on the rear door, we are getting our shorter, one of these shorter strips. So same thing before, the taller side right there, putting that closest to the door. Uh, I'm just getting one edge in. Once I get it, I slide it back as about as far as I can go, which feels like that's right around there. Should be able to go back further. There we go. All right, now I'm getting some resistance. So then I just wedge it up. I noticed that the closest here was kind of not sitting as flush as I'd like. It's not gonna be completely flush. Obviously it's supposed to hang down a little bit because that's what is going to make sure you get a little bit of a line. But now I'm just making sure it is wedged in there. There we go. Two down. that take 30 seconds four for four so uh, now let's see how she looks inside the car with the lights off all right moment of truth oh yeah all right and let me turn this off here and get a little bit more nope opposite of what I wanted actually that that showed up on pretty good on camera that you would not be able to see with before with the headlamp on the overhead light on it would be very washed out it's much more distinctive even with the overhead light on i'm going to turn that off though man that is a strip this is going to be close this is going to be close between the bmw x1 um yeah i the key thing is getting it tucked up there as much as possible so you don't have those like up and down wavy thing, but you take your time. I wanna go menu here. I'm gonna menu, I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna go to lighting. And there's classic, which we know is the classic, which I've been. And in the X1, I have it set there. But let's go to sport. Oof, that's tough. That's tough. Let me turn this off. I've always been a classic guy, but the white, um, I don't know if on camera it's showing up in, in some like weird dots or lines, but um, it's that might just be an LED flicker with the shutter speed, but that looks clean, and in the back, nice distinct line. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna cross over to being a white guy or not. Or, wait, that sounds bad. A sport guy or not. The white looks, I mean, now it's a distinct line, so. Mm. I mean, it does kind of go better with the tack and the speedometer, but I think I liked the the classic before because the buttons right there are amber. Let me go back. This is gonna be tough. Back to classic. I don't know. There's something about classic though. There's something about that. It matches with the stuff on the wheel and all the controls. I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave it, leave it for classic now. However, sport is definitely a viable option. Uh, much more usable now. Now you can actually see it. Really can never, having white shine down on black leather just never really 
worked in this car, but now it's definitely an option. There you go. You can see that didn't take very much time at all, but before I wrap this video up, I'm going to move my car over, get the X1 in here, and then I'm gonna actually do like a legit comparison side by side. And that's the key thing I wanna do with this video is how does a you know plastic light strip compare to an actual OEM built in the door trim panel. And uh, I'm gonna pull my car over, get the X1 in the garage, do a side by side comparison. And I think that would be a good gauge of whether this model is worth it. All right, so I got both vehicles now in the garage side by side. We just got out of the M3, so I wanna hop into the X1 here, and we'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison. And I will turn the overhead lamp off. So here we go. This is the solid stripe and the 2017 X1. As you can see, you're getting much more of the modern look. Um, and it's, it's never gonna be as OEM uh, as from the factory but you're getting more of that modern look, uh, which is, you know, a worthy upgrade, I would say. So there's the driver's side and the back seats. And of course we can do the same thing here and the X1, we can go to, we can go to the menu, go to settings, go down to is it lighting, and then we can change the ambient from classic over to, oh, I think, even an off option. I don't know why you would want that, but modern and get the the white look. And I, I don't know. Um, I I think I think the white plays more in the M3 just because of the tack and the dash. Uh, let me see if I can put on some parking. There we go. Um, you know the X1 has still has the the classic amber red. Uh, tack and speedometer. So personally, I think it plays much more um, to have it as the classic in the X1, where the M3, at least it has a white tack and white dash, so it makes more sense if you wanted to go that way, but I'm going to put this back to classic, and I think it matches. So anyway, uh, there's how it looks in the X1, and once again, how it looks in the M3. So getting much more of that simulated look and I I really didn't think I really didn't think it was gonna play as much as it does but it really is a nice subtle touch I think I'm gonna keep it anyway I think this was I think this was a nice subtle upgrade and very inexpensive I'll leave a link in the description below to where I got these anyway I hope you liked today's comparison between what it was before what it was after and then comparing it to the more modern OEM BMWs with the ambient lighting um, I think it was I think it's very close and I like it I'm gonna keep it like I said I'll leave a link in the description below for info if you want to get this product for your f-series BMW so anyway I hope you liked today's video if you did give me a thumbs up if you have a question definitely leave a comment and if you haven't done already please subscribe I will catch you guys next time Ow. Hey. We'll